Hi again, it's Julie with Artie Party Paints back today with a tutorial on how to do a snake tattoo. This one is really cool, it's for everybody. I love it and you can use all different kind of colors. Usually I offer red, blue, and green is like the most popular combos. So this is like what I would do for blue. This is kind of a, a mermaidy, like peacock color. I made this one myself, but you can also buy a version of this. Um, I think it's called like peacock or something like that. But I also use this one for my princess mask, so it's a really nice color. We're gonna use our one inch flat brush. You can also use a three quarters inch, especially if the arms are a little bit smaller, like if uh, it's on a younger um, person or somebody with like tiny arms. Um, so we're gonna load up our one inch flat brush and we're gonna start with um, this is the most complicated part is going to be the head and you want to leave some space like usually I do it the opposite way because like their hand would be like this you know but you want to leave a little bit of space up up on top of it because we're going to curl the tail like down up and over so we're going to start with the head which is the most complicated part but it's not that complicated so uh, let me walk you through it you're going to start with like two um, kind of petals so the, these are going to be like the eye sockets. So it's basically just a triangle and there's two of them connected like that. So that's your first shape and it's kind of like I pull a little bit out and then kind of curve it back in like this but whatever you have to do to get it to be that shape is, is totally fine. And then the rest of the head we're going to finish off, we're going to do a bottom and a top. So you're just going to find wherever that line is and give it a little curl, like right there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to outline it anyway. So that's going to be the top of the head and this is going to be the bottom of the head. So all I did was basically four little like pieces right there all together just by twisting my brush. And kind of like we did for the sunset, you kind of leave this like light colored corner right where it is and then just pull the outside. So you're twirling the brush kind of like this to create some of those shapes. So just work on that practice and that'll be really beneficial to you in a lot of other designs too. So now I'm going to curve the body. So I'm going to, the, the whole body is going to be like one stroke with your arty cake and you're gonna start it here, just flat up against the top of your head like that. You're gonna curve it around, bring it up and back and give it a little back and forth wiggle like that. So this is gonna be the body of your snake, as you can see. So it's gonna curve around, so again, like this is practicing with this brush is going to be so beneficial to you in like all your designs and this is a good way to do it. So just really practice being able to control your curves and your swirls with this brush by twisting the different edges. It's really good practice. <laughs> and now we're going to do our eyes so they have a little bit of time to dry, which all it is is you just take any liner white brush and in those little divots that you made, those first two marks that you made, you just kind of lay down an average like teardrop eye shape right there. And then also those are going to be his teeth. So I like to do those first two. So you can kind of see it coming together. And now the fun part, this is a really good design for learning brush control on all different levels. Um, now we're going to do the outline. So for this one, you can create a lot of really fun textures by using your liner brush with black. So this is a number six low Cornell, and I really like this one because you get a lot of play on the brush because it's so wide. So as you can see what I did there, I'm going to continue that same kind of pattern all the way up here. And all I do is create the outline first, like that, and then pull down with the brush on its side. So I turn the brush on its side instead of on its point on its side and just kind of flick down and it creates this like really cool shape like that and so I just dot I use dots and I use those textures to create like a snake pattern all the way down adding dots here and there just 
flicking around, trying to keep, we're not creating like, like bumps on it. We're gonna do that on the bottom part. This should, outside line should be fairly smooth, but just remember your fun shapes like this. All right. And we're gonna do that again. We're gonna follow our outline here. We'll worry about the belly in just a minute. But you're gonna outline those shapes that you have right there. All your teeth and all that. We'll do the eyes last as usual. And now for the belly part, this one is easier than the top part. You're just gonna flick. Use the very tippy tip of your brush to make thin little flicks to create that kind of texture that snakes have on their bellies. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of flick it around like that. And when you get to the end of the tail, you don't have to keep doing that. But so that's gonna be like your body, and this texture is just really fun right there. And now we're gonna add the eyes. We're gonna outline those. So you're gonna give them like angry eye flicks right there. And then a slit for the pupil, just like that. So those are really simple eyes. You're just, you're just using the tip of your brush, making those angry kind of eyes, and then a slit for the eye. And then finally, we can add a couple extra things. Sometimes I'll do a tongue on it, which you're just gonna use any liner brush and create a long, kind of very thin flick like that. And also our little highlights. You don't have to add these if you're running low on time, but you can. You just kind of do a little very, very thin line just where you think it needs it, just to give it a little bit of interest. That is so super cool. It fits really great on arms, and there is a version I'll show you on the face later. But yeah, this is a really great snake that I use really often because it doesn't actually take that long once you get those kind of tricky brush techniques down. But you can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> There's our snake. <laughs>